You can save your waveforms for a review later or for an overlay to compare to a waveform you're measuring. We use the File menu and the Save As. Here you can input a lot of information about the waveform you want to save. Since this is a demo, I've labeled it Pico Demo Injector Waveform. You can save it to your folder, you can share it to the waveform library on the Pico site, or do Save and Share. Since I'm not going to share it because it's a demo waveform, I'm just going to click Save. Here is where we would name our waveform. And we can save all 31 counts, or we can save just the current number that we're on right now. We can even save specific buffers by choosing this option. I'm just going to choose Save. If we look at the top of the screen up here, we'll see that we are viewing that waveform now. If I come down to the bottom and I click Play again, we will go back into the viewing of the live waveform that's on demo mode. To retrieve that file, we simply do File, Open, and it's been saved in our waveforms folder. We select that waveform and click Open. It now loads that waveform back into our screen for viewing. And we can scroll back through this waveform if we want to choose a different screen to see. Since this is a demo mode, they are all the same. If I want to print this waveform, I simply come up to File menu and I can use the Print option. If you want to see what you're going to print, you click Print Preview. Print Preview opens at the bottom of your printed object. It will have vehicle information, the name that you gave it, the time and date stamp, and if you have input your shop name, it will be listed down at the bottom here. I will show you how to input your shop name in another lesson. Additionally, you can copy this image, and you can copy it as text, or you can copy the entire screen. If I choose Copy Image, that will go to my clipboard. And once I go to my clipboard, I can open up Word, and I can paste that image into a Word document. If I choose Copy Entire Window as an image, that too can be pasted into a Word document. This is your entire screen, and it allows you to see all the settings that you have. The last option was Copy as Text, and if you use that option, you have to put everything into an Excel file. And if you paste it into an Excel file, it will show up something like this, and it'll give you every plotted dot and location for that channel. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that we have over a million plots.